Well, the crowd is getting bigger in this year's race for Vermont's one and only seat in the U.S. House of Representatives. That's right. It's shaping up to be the contest to watch this summer because the winner of the primary could end up making history when it comes to gender representation. Jack Thurston has that story. The stakes are too high for politics as usual. Keisha Rom Hinsdale, a state senator serving the Burlington area, asking Vermont voters for a promotion to Congress. I will bring the Vermont way to Washington. She's the third female Democrat to enter the U.S. House race, along with Lieutenant Governor Molly Gray. I'll be fighting for our working families. And the leader of the state Senate, Becca Ballant. Vermonters all deserve quality health care that won't bankrupt them. The field is notable because Vermont is still the only state in the country to have never elected a woman to Congress, not one. It's a bit of a black eye. Ellen Anderson studies gender in politics at the University of Vermont and expects, given the state's recent reputation for going blue in federal races, that the long streak of having only Vermont men in D.C. will end after November. It matters to girls growing up that they can see themselves in high political office in the country, that that's not a job that only men can fill. It'll be the first change to the state's three-person delegation in 15 years. The upcoming retirement of longtime Senator Patrick Leahy setting off big political shakeups here. At some point we will have 50-50 representation across the board and then we'll know that we're successful when our leadership reflects our population. But of course, the Democrats don't hold a monopoly on female candidates. The Republican Party is open for women. Paul Dame chairs the Vermont GOP and says his party is talking to its own potential entrance in the House race. I think we, we've got to find the best candidate, right? Uh, and, uh, and if that's a woman, that's great. Your lone congresswoman? The candidates have more than six months to introduce themselves to voters and to carve out policy differences. Primary day in Vermont is August 9th. In Winooski, Jack Thurston, NBC5 News.